This review and demonstration video is going to be on the Gearon vacuum sealer system. You do receive a roll of bags that is bumpy on both sides and you receive already sealed on one side vacuum seal bags. You receive five of these. So I have been using this for a while and I do like it but I wanted to show some of the things that it does vacuum seal. So we go through a ton of chips in my home and this restaurant style tortilla bag is not aluminum at all inside. It's all basically plastic. So what I do is I just push out as much air as possible and then I open up the system. I'm only going to use the seal because if I push vacuum seal, it's going to take out air and potentially crush the chip. So you only want to use the seal one. When you open this up, you do have a little space here that reminds you of how much the bag should go inside. And this gold plate area is what will get hot to help seal the bag. So what I do is I put it back inside of the actual area, knowing that wherever this touches is what's going to actually seal. And so I just do that. And you properly close this by pushing down one side, the second side, and then you put seal. I wait about five, six seconds just to allow the heat to continue to smush everything together. Then on the side, you have these two buttons. I push those in and this will allow me to push this up. And as you can see, it was already a little bit stuck and it is indeed sealed. Now, I also have a second bag of chips, which is um, aluminum based inside. So for this one, I do the same process. I just smush out all of the air as much as possible, place this down, understanding that this is a little bit hot from doing the first bag and putting this down on top. Then one, two, and seal. Waiting again about five or six seconds to allow it to smush everything together. Then I'm going to pop this open. It will attach a little bit, just peel it on off. And as you can see, it has sealed together. Now, even though those are plastic, you can see that there is nothing on this hot area here. So it is indeed safe to use it for those. Um, now, moving on to food. Now, I actually have some Brussels sprouts that I made for dinner and it came in one of these bags. Now, per the instructions, you are able to just keep your vegetables or whatever you purchase inside its original bag and just toss it inside of one of these bags to vacuum seal it. I think for this, if you had like carrots or something that had a lot of liquid inside, just doing a quick little fold on the side to secure it and then putting it in the bag and then vacuum sealing it will help retain all the juices in one bag and then do another type of seal with another bag. You want to take it out of the bag. So I'm going to take it out of the bag and put it in one of these bags that came in the system. So I would like to cut this off. So I'm going to lay this against the actual machine and I'm going to take my little blade here and I'm just going to smooth it right across and look at that. Very easy and simple. Now I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to be using the vacuum seal for this one. So once again, I'm going to lift this up place this bag right over the line and then I'm going to close it and I'm going to smush this side and then smush that side and now I'm going to push back and seal. Now I'm going to wait another five seconds just to allow it to keep on doing its sealing of the actual bag. And then I'm going to pop this open. And as you can see, a perfect seal. It is a little bit warm. I'm just going to sit it on the side and allow it to just get a little bit cool. All right, so, so far you see me vacuum seal some vegetables and you also see me seal two bags of chips. One that has an aluminum aligning and one that is all just plastic by itself. Now I'm gonna move on to vacuum sealing some chicken marinated inside of a Italian dressing. 
Now let's just say after a couple of days, I want to actually steam these Brussels sprouts. You can actually do this inside of the vacuum bag in the microwave. Um, you just basically have to get a pair of scissors, cut the corners, and place it on the microwave safe bag. You can also place them in a in a pot of boiling water on simmer at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I want to actually put some dressing to make this chicken flavorful for tomorrow and I'm going to be using the roll for this one. Now they say for preparation for meat and fish that you should pre-freeze it for one or two hours before vacuum packaging it but I don't have time for that. Um, if you care about the shape and the juices of it, you would definitely want to do that and then take it out and then put it in one of these bags and then vacuum seal it. But if you're like me who just want to get it done, then what you will need to do is get you a paper towel um, and place it in between um, the top part um, and the sealing part. And I will show you what I mean by that. But this will help to make sure that no juices escape the bag while it is indeed vacuum sealing it so it doesn't get into the machine and mess up the process of what you want to get done. Now if you are going to be doing this for beef, just know that it may appear darker after vacuum packaging due to the removal of oxygen and this is not an indication of spoilage. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out some of the bag. It says to keep at least two and a half inches um, from the top and the bottom when you have food inside that actually has liquid just to give it much more um, space when it is vacuuming so that it can be caught with this paper towel. So I would assume this is how I pretty much measure it. I put the food in the middle and I know that is a good amount so I'm going to cut it down here. Hold it and then slide it right on through. Now again, they provide you both sides as bumpy, but I do have some extra bags I purchased that's only one side is bumpy and one side is smooth and that still works with this vacuum sealer. Now the first thing you want to do since both of these sides are indeed open is close one side and you would just do a regular seal for this. Allow it about five to six seconds to keep on doing the sealing process and then I pop it open and now I'm going to insert my chicken into the bag. So now I'm going to just put in my dressing as well. Make sure it gets all over the chicken. Plenty of space. So now I'm going to get the paper towel as it mentioned and because it's that way I'm just going to fold it just like this and then I'm going to make sure it fits right inside so I want both sides to be able to be fit in just like that. So now what you want to do is just push it down really hard and then you want to place it right inside of the vacuum bag making adjustments if you need to while you are placing it inside so now that it's inside and you see I have plastic at the top the paper towel and then the plastic and then the food you may have to move it down some so that you can actually get this to seal so I'm going to press out as much air as possible and then I'm going to push the vacuum seal putting this right there one two vacuum seal Alright, 
And now when I opened it, you can see that the juices literally ran into the paper towel and it stopped it from actually escaping. And then you see this perfect seal right here. So now my chicken is indeed vacuum sealed with my dressing inside and I'm gonna let this sit maybe a day or two just so that it can get all up in here for that flavorful goodness. And now you have seen how the Gearon vacuum sealer can also do this for meat, also the chips, and for your veggies that you can just cut to the side, put it into the microwave, or you can put it into some water and steam them inside the bag.